The last episode of Stranger Things 4 Volume 2 left a lot of things to the imagination. So much so that many people were confused whether Max is actually alive or has become Vecna's fourth victim. Let's find out what happens to Max in the Stranger Things Season 5. The way Season 4 Volume 2 ended wasn't just traumatic but also very shocking because once Max escaped Vecna in Volume 1, fans weren't expecting her to go through all that yet again. But she decided to put her own life in danger so her fans could end Vecna once and for all. That obviously didn't end well because Vecna was a lot more powerful than they thought and without Elle they weren't able to do a lot. And Elle knew it so she piggybacked on Max and went inside her consciousness to fight Vecna and yes she ended up pretty much defeating Vecna but she couldn't save Max. As a result, Max ended up in a coma and she went blind. Also, if it wasn't for Elle, Max wouldn't have been alive at all because Vecna completely consumed her. But an even shocking thing happened in the last scene of Stranger Things Season 4. When Elle was trying to go back to Max's consciousness and talk to her in the void, she couldn't find her. Max wasn't there at all and it was only her physical body present in the hospital. So fans got a little curious about how things could go down in the fifth season for Max. Though Duffer Brothers haven't written the script for Season five yet, fans have a whole lot of thoughts on how things with Max are gonna go down. But for now, even Sadie Sink doesn't know much about the fate of her character. Sadie obviously wouldn't want her character to end in such a tragic way, and the fans are also expecting Max to be a crucial part of season five because according to Sadie, Duffers are always very careful and calculated with who they're ending. They're never gonna end a character for just the sake of ending someone off. It always has to move the plot along and be right in that moment and in the story. Story. So it means the Duffer brothers also have big plans for Max in the last season of Stranger Things. But the interesting thing is, the confusing ending of season 4 for Max gave space to a whole lot of fan theories and speculations about what could actually happen in season 5. It's being said that Max is brain dead and not inside her actual body. Vecna can use it as a vessel, just like he used Will. As Elle, Steve, Nancy and Robin destroyed the physical form of Vecna, he would certainly be looking for a new form. And Max Max being in a coma and her memories being completely consumed, she could be a perfect host for Vecna. So it's a high possibility that Max becomes a pawn of Vecna and he uses her to spy on the whole party. He could even use Max as a hideout, just like Mind Flayer used to. Also, while we're at it, you should know that Mind Flayer isn't completely gone either, and the cloud or shadow that we saw in the Russian prison was actually a part of Mind Flayer. So Vecna could also summon Mind Flayer and he could completely control Max in no time. Another very interesting way that Max's plot could unravel is that she's still present inside of Vecna. Yes, that's very true because when one consumed all the kids in the lab, he told Elle to not worry. His actual words were, they aren't gone Eleven, they're right here with me. So there is a high possibility that Vecna's victims don't just disappear in thin air but become a part of him. And if we believe this theory, Max's soul and memories are now part of Vecna. You might already know that Vecna doesn't just end his victims but completely consumes consumes their thoughts, memories and their soul. So if he has consumed Max's soul, it means it's still somewhere in him. And a huge part of the fifth season would mostly be about Elle trying to enter Vecna's conscious mind and bringing Max back to consciousness. And it also is very much possible now that Elle is powerful enough to actually defeat Vecna and bring a human back to life. But we don't know what Vecna has in mind yet, and now that Upside Down has actually completely taken over Hawkins, things have gotten a tad more complicated. A thing Theory also proposes that when Vecna consumed Max, it was the beginning of his end. He became very vulnerable and the party will end Vecna with the help of Max. It actually makes a lot of sense, as part of Max is actually in Vecna and if Max becomes strong enough, she might actually do some harm to Vecna from within. Not only this, Max might actually find Chrissy and all the other victims in Vecna's consciousness and they can destroy him from within if they will team up. So it will be an ideal Stranger Things climax when everyone is trying to end the evil at the same time from different places. Also, Max might actually be consumed by Vecna entirely and she could also end up being the first Stranger Things villainess. Plus, Running Up That Hill, the song she used to listen to by Kate Bush to stay away from Vecna, is also a hint at this theory. In this song, the woman is wishing that she could swap bodies with a man and experience what it's like to be the opposite gender. It might be a hint that Max eventually becomes Vecna 
Vecna and taste what it's like to be a villain. If something like this actually happens in season 5, it wouldn't just be shocking but also pretty iconic and people are also expecting the Duffer brothers to come up with something very different because that's what they do every season. No one expected Henry to be one and one to be Vecna. So this season has been one hell of a ride towards thrill and sudden revelations. And we can expect a lot more than just that from the next season. Also, Elle used all her powers in the last episode of Stranger Things Season 4 and yet she wasn't able to completely destroy the existence of Vecna. So they have to figure out a way to actually end him for good. And in this search, Max could actually help them as she is a part of him. Just like Will helped the party in fighting the Mind Flayer for a while but Will eventually became a spy so there is no reason to think that Max might not become a spy for Vecna even while she's in a coma. Interestingly, Sadie Sink is also pretty clueless about what her character would be doing in the next season and she said it in an interview as I have no idea what's coming in five and what that looks like. Max's storyline is very up in the air because obviously she's in a coma and Eleven can't find her in the void. So who knows where she is and what state she's in. So the new season is surely going to be a roller coaster, not just for the viewers but also for the cast. Moreover, in the last two seasons, Max and Lucas's love story hasn't made much progress but in the last few scenes they were shown to be bonding yet again and it could also be a huge part of season five. And Lucas could actually enter the upside down, find Vecna and bring Max back. Also, Elle and Vecna have a history together and the very special connection too because Elle was the one who freed him from the lab and even though she ended up destroying him, she still was the one who helped him in the first place. And it hints to us that as Vecna only sees darkness in people, Elle sees the good and she might actually see the good in Vecna too and ends up freeing him from his torture of being a monster. It wouldn't only bring Max back but it will save Hawkins and instead of fighting Vecna in the old school way, his character will get an unexpected redemption arc. But fans aren't expecting Max to end up getting destroyed in the last season because if the Duffer brothers wanted to do that, they could have done it already. However, they saved Max from Vecna not just once, but twice. It means Max will either be a pawn to Vecna who will help destroy Hawkins or she'll try and end Vecna by teaming up with Elle and the others. But if Max actually turns evil, it will be the most shocking thing and it will make things a lot more complicated for Elle as she obviously can't attack her best friend. When it comes to being a pawn, Vecna already has one in the form of Will and he still has some sort of control over him so Will has more chances of becoming a spy. When talking about Max, she's more likely to become a host to either Mind Flayer or Vecna himself. Fans are also speculating that if Vecna somehow wasn't able to completely consume Max's memories then she might be buried somewhere inside her own subconsciousness and she'll have to find her way out all on her own. Also, when Elle used her powers to bring back Max, she actually gave her a part of her powers, so fans are also expecting Max to actually wake up more powerful. She might fight Vecna side by side with Elle, as Vecna will be more dangerous than ever this time. So there are two possibilities for Max in Stranger Things Season 5, either she'll be in complete control of Vecna or she'll actually help everyone in ending him and there is no in between. Well, what are your thoughts about the future of Max in Stranger Things 5? Tell us in the comments section. Thanks for watching.